Today what I have is called a double triangle trap. And it doesn't look like much because it's compressed and it's storage form right now. But once assembled, it's pretty impressive, especially for $10. So you really can't beat the price. Now the trap itself is for minnows and crawfish, nothing larger. The entrances are too small and this fine blue mesh you're seeing is around two to three millimeter. So even the small minnows getting in are probably gonna stay in. So pretty good all around catch it all trap. Parts and pieces for this trap, you see the blue mesh. It also has two triangles and these are steel rigid triangles. They measure about 12 and a half inches on each side. You also have, you can see here on both ends, a piece of black rubber and uh, it's in a triangle and it's actually harnessed to each of the sides of the triangle by a piece of nylon. Uh, last but not least, and I've been waving this around, it's a piece of rather flexible PVC. I'm not too happy about it being flexible. I will probably modify and change this into a wooden dowel rod or something like that, but I'm going to go ahead and use this because this is what they sent. So hopefully it works and hopefully it keeps its shape. Assembly of this trap fairly simple. It's actually kind of an accordion. You're going to grab one of the pieces of rubber, that triangle up here, that's one of the entrances. Taking my dowel rod, I'm simply going to feed it through both entrances all the way through the trap. So there's actually a hole all the way through the trap. It's not easy for them to get out of, but it works for this. And I'm going to push that PVC all the way to the bottom to where I find that other piece of black rubber. And I'm going to fix it right to the middle. There's nothing holding it there except for the force I'm exerting. Up on top, I'm going to go ahead and put some pressure and I'm going to stretch out that piece of rubber and the tension should keep the piece of PVC suspended in the middle of the trap. Okay, so pretty good looking trap. Very rigid, very tight. It's got a good structure. I like the looks of it. So for $10 again, really impressive. Now the trap is around 17, 18 inches long once assembled. Uh, there are some concerns I have with it. First off, there are actually two chambers within this trap, which is fairly confusing. Uh, you have this outer chamber that you're seeing very clearly, and hopefully you can see inside here, there is a secondary tube of mesh, and this is where the fish actually get into first. Now they, they explain that the fish should be able to get out to this outer layer, but what I'm seeing is there's not actually any opening. Unless they're pushing on it, actively forcing it and have the muscle, those fish cannot easily swim into this outer area. So I'm wondering, we're gonna go ahead and set it out this way and see if it works, but I'm wondering if they'll only get caught in there and it's really gonna cut down on the amount of volume of bait I can catch. Uh, later on, I'll probably modify, put a stick in there, leave it open, and that should allow me to catch more things by allowing them to get into this outer chamber. So a little bit of a concern there. Uh, one of the cool perks to this is that you have this huge zippered side. So if you need to clean out your trap, you need to get your bait out, if you need to do any maintenance, whatever it is, you simply have to unzip it and you have access. Now, double-edged sword, again, it's actually not easy for you to get the bait from the inside tunnel to the outside tunnel. So if you're getting the bait out, again, you're gonna have to actually manually open the other one, dump it out, do something because this outside chamber just doesn't look like it's gonna have anything in it when I pull it up. They came with a harness, keeps it nice and even. Came with its own rope, so kind of impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and use their stuff. I'm gonna put some dog food, and the instructions that were given with this trap are to put the dog food in the interior chamber, usually in a mesh bag. We're gonna use my dry dog food, and I'm going to put it out here, out in this creek. Give it a couple hours, and if there's anything's out there, it should, at the very least, get caught in the interior tunnel. So we'll give it a try. Hopefully it works, and uh, if anything, it's pretty impressive. We'll see, $10.
went down pretty easy. We'll give it a couple hours. <laughs>